Peacock right off the top of that tree, and everyone yeah. is just shocked. It's a huge peacock, <laughs> peak of my life. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at that. Uh, if it's 900, I'll say like 
And also, just before I close off this uh, this uh, second video of the week, um, some important and very very exciting breaking news over here by Niantic on Pokemon Go Live.com. I'm pretty sure by now you probably guys have probably heard about it. It's been out for the last ten hours or so. Uh, make way for friends trading and gifting in Pokemon Go. Friends, adding friends maybe. As trainers so kind of like how the Silk Road's um, handshake works I'm thinking this is just my reaction and by the way I haven't read the article yet I literally just saw that everybody posting up uh, the, the this the this a link to this article on social media and it was just going absolutely off people getting excited and all sorts uh, I read a few spoilers but nothing that really explained what it actually is so I'm reading this as I go along with you guys uh, and I'm just guessing friends is, is basically the equivalent of half handshaking on the Silk Road. Trading, of course, is trading, self-explanatory. And gifting, I'm guessing, might be more to do with items. So maybe um, giving away some cat rare candies or giving away some potions, stardust, whatever it might be. I don't know. I might end up getting proven wrong, but let's have a look. Got a picture right there. Looks pretty neat. Go near trainer, level 24. Uh, waiting, Moltres. Article no waiting. Confirm. 40,000 stardust plus one candy what does that mean does that mean you have to make payments anyways let's go ahead and get right right get right into it um, trainers we're excited to share brand new ways to interact with your friends in Pokemon Go the friends feature will start rolling out to trainers later this week allowing you to connect with your real-life friends and keep track of their adventures in Pokemon Go you'll be able to send them items as I thought earn bonuses and even trade Pokemon in order to add a friend in Pokemon Go, you must first ask them to share their trainer code with you. Okay, so this, this seems that like this is going to have to be forced. There's going to be a forced update. Um, to invite the trainer to become your friend, simply enter their trainer code and then se and send them a request. If they accept, you become friend and you'll see them in your friend list. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, so there's going to be a new feature on Pokemon Go. This is so freaking awesome. This is going to be the best game in the world very soon. Trainer NIA, 40, uh, me friends, add friend Gonia Trainer, I'm going to show Code Magica, 4 hearts, 3 hearts, Trainer Code Pikachu, blah blah. Oh my god, so that very much looks like the layout of Snapchat. Kind of like a Snapchat y vibe going on here with the hearts, depending on how much you interact with that person. This is going to have like a social media built, built into it, this game. This is going to be absolutely insane, guys. Trainer profile friends list right also it's gonna be right above your trainer profile you're gonna have you're gonna be able to swipe uh, right and go on to your friends list so freaking awesome um, okay so <clears throat> when you spin a photo disc at a pokestop or gym you have a chance of receiving a special gift although you can't open the gifts you receive from pokestops you can send them to a friend on your friend list inside the gift will be a stash of helpful items which your friend will receive along uh, with a postcard 
showing where you picked up your gift. Gifts can also include a special surprise, an egg that when hatched will contain an Aluran form of a Pokemon origi originally discovered in the Kanto region. Wow, now that's interesting. So we're going to be receiving gift packages as well as normal items in Pokestops from now on. <coughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat going on. <coughs> that's, that's the commuting life, you know, going up and down the tube with all that draft. <coughs> mm, sorry. Uh, gift, open a gift, send a gift, gift postcard. Okay, that looks all pretty neat. I mean, the design, you know, with with Pokemon Go are just unbeatable. Simple and clean. Can't complain about any of that. When you send a gift to a friend or to uh, or participate in a raid or gym battle with them, you can increase your friendship level. As your friendship level builds, you will then unlock bonuses when you play together. For example, when you when you and a great and a great friend participate in a gym battle or raid battle together you can earn an attack bonus to give your Pokemon an edge you can increase your friendship level once per day per friend okay interesting a little bit vague but sort of makes sense again it's that sort of snapchat kind of model which encourages you know interaction between friends um, good friend great friend ultra friend best friend okay and how exactly do they base that if they all have four stars I mean four hearts doesn't quite doesn't quite make sense from the pictures but anyways you can also build a friendship level level by trading Pokemon with a friend if you're near a friend and have a trainer level of 10 or higher no problems there <laughs> you can trade Pokemon you've caught with that friend completing a trade earns a bonus candy for the Pokemon you've traded away and that bonus can increase if the Pokemon you traded were caught in locations far apart from each other interesting all trades are powered by Stardust and some trades require more starters than others. Now that's interesting as well. As you build your friendship level with a friend you're trading with, you'll find that you can compete, complete the trade with much less stardust. Right. So building friendship is basically gonna save you a lot of stardust. That that's 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 the part that's made that that's like caught my attention the most here, <laughs> because stardust, boy, that's expensive. Um, trading with friends, trade with stardust. Special trade, candy bonuses, Pokemon CP and HP in trade. Oh my god, this looks so, so awesome. I just can't wait to have it on my phone already. Certain Pokemon, such as, as a legendary Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon, or a Pokemon not currently in your Pokedex, require a special trade to complete. So keep that in mind before trading away that golden Magikarp. Special trades can only occur once per day with a great friend or best friend, and it often requires a lot of starters to complete a special trade. Now that slightly sucks because trades are usually full Pokemon that you don't have. I mean, you can also trade Pokemon that you have if you're like a collector of like high IV Pokemon or something like that, you know, or like shiny if you're doing like a shiny collection or something. Um, but it would have been interesting for, you know, for Pokemon that you don't have, especially, you know, regionals. Because a lot of people, you know, when we were thinking of, of trading back in like last year when the rumors like first rose back, was you know in terms of regionals you're gonna get find someone in a raid that comes from somewhere else for an event or whatever he's gonna have a whole bunch of tauruses for example which is the last pokemon i have left on my canto pokedex and i'll be like hey dude i need a can i need a taurus urgently to finish my um gen 1 pokedex so do you want to trade it with so and so and then you go and do the trade um that's when the trade is the most useful and you know the most satis you know satisfactory I, I would say um but i mean i mean you, you can still do it evidently but you just have we have to spend a lot more which is fair enough you know it's good to feel the you know the pinch in your pocket so to speak so yeah super excited about this guys um trade details normal trade special trade special trade with best friend again you got some examples there of how it would uh, what it would look on our phone uh, and then finally, so get out there and discover Pokemon Go with friends. Stay safe and happy exploring. This is just so exciting, except that I don't have that many friends. Um, so it's going to be a bit... I mean, I don't have that many friends that play Pokemon Go. Uh, let's be clear about that. Um, so yeah, um, don't really know how it would work for me, particularly. Uh, but um still so, so, so excited about this nonetheless. I mean, trading, that's bomb, dude. That's bomb. So, yes, with that being said, that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and watch the England match. England playing against Tunisia right now on the World Cup. So, can't be missing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Double video upload. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, Wales Part 2 coming soon.